In solving an absolute value, you must first isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation. The absolute value of b minus 8 must be alone. So therefore, the 2 and the 6 somehow have to be addressed algebraically. With this in mind, I have to first subtract 2, subtract 2 from both sides. Because you see how you have the 6 in front is being multiplied? I would do that next. I wouldn't do that first. So you have 2 minus 2, that's 0, and that's 6. You just have 6 times the absolute value of b minus 8 equals 54. Sometimes students want to multiply the 6 times b and the 6 times 8, but you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to divide both sides by 6. You want to divide both sides by 6. If you look at the left side of this equation, absolute value equation, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So you're left with the absolute value of b minus 8 equals 54 divided by 6 gives you 9. Now that we've isolated the absolute value by, by itself, now the absolute value will have two possibilities. So you'll have two equations. You have b minus 8 equals 9 or b minus 8 equals negative 9. And then you solve the one step equation. In this case you add 8 to both sides. So b equals 17. And then on the right side you add 8 to both sides. So you have b equals negative 1. The last step is to check and all you have to do is substitute b with 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. Absolute value 9 is 9 times 6 is 54 plus 2 is 56 and that does check. The other one is negative 1 minus 8. That gives you negative 9. Absolute value negative 9 is 9 times 6 is 54 plus 2 is 56.